Hello. In this video, we will learn how to code music on the TI Innovator Hub using either the TI-84 Plus CE or the TI Inspire CX family. First, on the TI-84 Plus CE, we press Program, arrow over to New, select Create New, and we'll call our program Music. We'll press Enter, and we are now in the body of our code. For the TI Inspire technology, select number one, New, select number nine, Add Program Editor, select number one, New, and we'll call this one Music as well. Tab on down and select OK, and you are now in the body of your code. On the TI-84 Plus CE, let's press Enter three times. Our frequencies will be saved into list 1 and our time will be saved into list 2 so that we don't lose all of our hard work we will recall list 1 and list 2 into the code where we just made these spaces. We will press program. We'll arrow down to number 4, 4 and the for command goes as follows variable beginning end our variable will be n alpha n comma our beginning value is 1 comma and we need to get to the end of list 1 so we'll press second stat to get to the list over to ops and choose number three dimension and list one is in blue above the one second one close parentheses close the outermost parentheses and we will paste this into our line of code press enter to get to the next line of code We'll be sending our information to the hub, so we'll press program, arrow over to hub, select number one, send set, and choose number three, sound. We will go down each column in list one and list two, so we need to evaluate each entry. Program, hub, eval, and it is list one and each entry falls in the variable n close parentheses close parentheses alpha space now for time program hub evaluate list two each entry is the variable n close parentheses close parentheses. We have an open quote, so we should close that. We have the outermost parentheses, which needs to be closed, and now we can press enter to get to the next line of code. On the TI Inspire family, we press menu, we select number four for control, and then number five is our for loop. Notice the commas are already there for our syntax. We have n as our variable, 1 as our beginning value, and we need it to go to the end of our column tone, so the dimension of tone. Close parentheses, press enter. We need to now send the information to the hub. Menu, hub, number one, send set, number three, sound. We need to evaluate each value in our list. So menu, hub, eval. Our first column heading will be tone. And we need the brackets because this is a variable, n. Be very careful to get outside of the brackets. 
outside of the parentheses, but still inside the quotes, press the space bar and repeat for the evaluation of time. Menu, hub, eval, time is our column heading. We will use the brackets and the variable n. Press enter to go to the next line of code. So that these notes don't blend all together, we need to put a wait command into our code. On the TI-84 plus CE, press program, arrow over to hub, and select wait. Now we don't want to wait too long, so we're going to make it a very small number, 0 0.05 plus, and then one of our columns, second L2, and our variable is n. Close parentheses, press enter, and to finish up this code, we need to end our for loop program number seven, end. For the TI Inspire technology, we'll press menu, we'll choose number eight, hub, we'll choose number four, wait, again a very small number, point zero five, plus one of our columns will use time and we need our brackets for our variable n. Notice in the TI Inspire part of the syntax and the for loop is built in. So our coding is now done but we don't have any notes to play just yet. For the TI-84 plus CE to save your work, press second mode, that's your quit. On the TI Inspire technology, we're going to add another page, control doc to add a page, and we're going to choose number four, add list and spreadsheet. On the TI-84 plus CE, you'll press stat and then select number one, edit. List 1 will be your tone or frequency. List 2 will be the duration of each note. For the TI Inspire technology, you have to label tone and time. And then you can enter in your notes and the duration of each note into the appropriate columns. Notice the C scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then it repeats. Here are the frequencies for each note so that you can play the notes from sheet music. Going across, these are all G's, but they are in different octaves. A very popular tune that most people know is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and you can see down below I have the first line of the song. So it's low C, low C, G, G, A, A, G. I locate the C and I can choose which of these I will define as my low C. I'm going to choose the 130.82 as my low C. On my TI-84+, Plus, I will enter into L1, 130.82, enter, 130.82, enter, then I need to get a G. Now I notice the G is right here, it is going up, so I will go with the 196, 196, 196, the A is 220, I'll have two of those notes, and then back to the G, 196, enter. I will right arrow to go over to L2, 
I notice that in my music they are all quarter notes, 0.25, until the word star, which is a half note. So I will enter in 0.25 repeatedly until the last note, which is star, and I'll enter in 0.5 for that. Enter. I went ahead and put the values into the TI Inspire in the proper columns, the tone, and the time. The TI Inspire technology is a living, breathing document. Page 1.1 and page 1.2 are always connected when you save your document. However, on the TI 84 Plus CE, the list 1 and list 2 could be erased after we're done with this and we go on to do something in math class. So what I have already done, when we go back to program, we go over to edit and we edit music, I had us put blank lines in our code for this reason. We are going to embed list 1 and list 2 into the TI-84 plus CE code. To do this, we'll use the recall feature. Second store for the recall feature and I want to recall list one. Second one. When I press enter there is list one. I want to store that into L1. Enter. Repeat this for list two. Second recall List 2, enter, store this into list 2. So after this code is done, if L1 and L2 are cleared out, we have all of our data in the code itself. To wrap up our code for each, on the TI-84 plus CE, press second mode, that's your quit. On the TI-Inspire, I'd go back to 1.1 where our code is written and I would go to menu, select number two, check syntax and store. We could just check syntax and store or we could go right down to number three, run. Let's see it in action. Remember, our cord has an A end and a B end. The A end has a white USB tab and the B end has a black USB tab. We put the B end into where it says data B. We put the A end into the side of the TI-84 plus CE. The light lets us know that it is currently on. I'm going to be using my amplifier. Put the sound feature on the amplifier. And then we will run program music. That is music to my ears. And now for the TI Inspire technology. Again, there's an A end and a B end. Black for B, white end is A. Connect into the B data port. Connect into the top of your TI Inspire handheld. Light means that you are on. Music is ready to run. Let's get the amplifier in here so we can hear it and let's run it one more time and that is music to my ears if you wish to add more music find your spreadsheet and simply add more notes at the bottom on the TI-84 plus CE edit your list and simply add more notes and duration of time to your lists. Enjoy!